Welcome back to the real Texas. This is Goldor, and let's journey onward. Well then, let's get her to ingest the... Last time we left off, we just got here and started talking to Charles. Charles takes the gasoline from you. Hmm. Now where should we feed it in? You don't even know. Aha! Here's a small door, and when we open it... A mouth! Well, surely she must drink from here. Charles pours it in. Hmm, <laughs> still no life. Something must be amiss. <laughs> hey, Charles. Start. You turn the key in the ignition. Uh, drive. You aren't really sure where you're headed. Uh, done. Is the contraption dead? Dude, it's... Dude. Dude. The car is running. Turn off the ignition. Start. Drive! Come on, Charles. Don't be stupid. Car. It is alive, dude. Fucking dumbass. Off. What's in the glove box? I swear to God. Do I have to go back to the dungeon and talk to... I don't get it. Sit. Get in. Bye. Sit. Start. Done. Why are you... Start... Set... Drive... Mr. M... M... W... Directions! Oh my fucking god, Charles. Fucking A. Honk. Beep. Kick. That was satisfying. Uh. What? I shut it off by kicking it? Or did I just break it? Uh, guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. Gas. Look. Search. I have no idea what I'm doing. No, it's not dead. I'll kick you. Punch. It's not dead. Fuck my life. Drive. Off. Done. Shit. I don't even know where to begin. I have that problem a lot. Sit. Glove box. 
check the glove compartment, it's empty. Search, oh, whoop, search. Uh, can, can we shove this in there? Sit. I don't get it. Done. No, it's not dead, Charles. Where where would I even drive off to? Shit. And I can't leave either. Off. Kick. Done. Dead. Start. Engine. Noise. Boat. Kill. Charles. Kill. Murder. Car. Uh, okay, now that it's off, can I leave? Can I leave now? Fuck my life. God damn it. I don't know what to do. Ah, oh, shit. No, it's not dead, Charles. Charles, it's not dead. Start. Pedal. Pedal to the metal. Drive forward. Forward. Reverse. Neutral. Kill everyone. Kill. Start. Ignition. Check. Look. Search. Let's take this back. Alright, Charles. You should be convinced that it's not dead. It is making noise. You hear that fucking noise? Gasoline. <sighs> Charles, you pissed me off. Call. Uh, radio? Look at it again. Off. Well, guys, I think I'm going to have to look up what I need to do. I will be back in a moment. Hello everybody. I figured it out. All I need it was a bug in the system. All I needed to do was save and quit and try again. So that's what I did and here we are. Brilliant. What did you do? No matter, sir. We shall away straight for London town. Let us board the contraption. I believe the manual said it operates on a drive. I'll leave it to you. Set. Drive. You put the car in gear and press the gas pedal. What, what the? Is it gonna fucking fly? What a, It... It... It teleported. It fucking teleported. What? This is not London town. Well, no matter. Let us disembark. I I shall stand guard of the automobile car. I'm too scared to leave. Don't tell your mother. Dude, that's not nice. Don't say that to me, Charles. Bonneville, are you going to tell me how to start the car? 
It seems just like you to tell me something I already know. Hello, my name is Bonneville, and I have discovered something peculiar about this town of Strange. Strange exists one level removed from reality. However, there is yet another level removed from Strange. This is a purgatory for purgatory. A road runs infinitely through it, and an enigma enigmatic creature guards only the only exit. Me? It sh seems I that I have accidentally slipped one level down while bathing. I dropped the soap, and now I doubt I will ever escape. If you are reading this, you may be stuck too. Sorry. I have had a long time to ponder. Is there any way out of this unreality? Does the Guardian's path simply only lead to yet another unreality once more removed? Or perhaps this is really the real reality? Actually, Bonneville, I'm quite proud of you. For once you told me something I did not know. Fucking idiot. Oh, stairs. Oh, here's that infinite road that he was speaking of. Ooh, there's a green dot. Dot of greenness. Ooh. What are you? It's a tire! Yay! I'm so glad I'm no longer in the formation! Yeah, whoa! Oh, I thought they were attacking me. You seem an energetic, smiling man! Ah, uh, that. Well, I am an ex-public servant. Ex? I don't have any regrets. I know I did a good job. Not to complain, but I'm not exactly I'm not sure it was exactly fair how I was treated treated. I would say unfairly, but I think someone in my job ought to be able to take a few slings and arrows. Basically I was driven out here and dumped at the side of the road. Anyhow, let's talk about something else. You'd like to return to your home, I'm sure. I'd guess you're a, you're a Texan, and, well, pleased to meet you. West of here is a door, but it's being guarded. Guarded? The guard is a mean one that probably won't hurt you, at least not directly. Just don't sell him your soul. Directly? Some folks believe that there is a silver bullet that will take care of all your problems. I don't. But if you come across anything, I suppose it's worth a try. Dumped? When I got here, Frank had already set up camp. G okay. I'm gonna guess this is Frank. Hi, Frank. You see, a distinguished, friendly man. I used to work for the United States government. Now, I'm unemployed. I'm Frank. Pleased to meet you. Yes, well, I did a lot of good while I was in, in office. The bum seemed to have dumped me here, out here, but I can handle it. Dumped? Sometimes an idea is more powerful than reality. That can be a good thing, particularly when reality needs fixing, and the idea is a good one. Unfortunately, it can also work the other way. There's a guardian nearby, keeping watch carefully. Over what? We don't know. There's surely, there is surely an idea that can overcome him. But in all my years living here, it hasn't yet come to me. Living? Can't, don't you admire our little camp? At least I have a partner to play cards with. I usually win at crib, but he is an excellent poker player. Yes, goodbye. I do like his house. Hmm. I think I may come and punch him in the face later. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's just a rock. It's just a rock, guys. Calm down. What the flupper nuts is all this? Search. Uh. 
Yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna do now, huh? I'm gonna throw all your slime on the fucking floor. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it. I'm fucking doing it. Last time I threw slime on the floor was that time over there. But the last time I did it, story-wise, it was for the... Uh, I released a ghost, and that ghost wanted makeup. And I got her lots of makeup. But you won't know what the worst part is? She didn't even use most of it. All she did was drink some of the per the perfume and looked at herself in a mirror. And then she turned into a man. A living human man. I was like, what the fuck is going on? And nobody could answer my question. Because everybody was dead. So, and something about poofs. And people forgetting what happened. You know, that could also be a thing. Do, do, do. So I can't reach that one over there to empty it out. But I can empty this one! Yeah! Nothing you guys can, can do to stop me now. I think, uh, I think it's getting dark in the game. That's just a hunt, though, guys. Don't take my word for it. Ooh, a bathtub. Push. Kick. Uh, punch. Nothing happens. Okay. I was hoping to push it in the, the river and somehow use it as a boat. Because I know that makes total 100% sense. And you're all are jealous that I thought of it and you didn't. But, uh, they wouldn't let me do it, so, you know, sad faces all around, mainly yours. Although I did get pretty pissed at Charles for being a fucking idiot. Uh, I just, oh! Yeah, yo! All your oil drums are empty, bitch! Um... The... Uh, you're the guardian, right? Talking Big Bad Wolf. Okay. Bye, Big Bad Wolf. I'm gonna go get a silver... Silver... Silver bullet. And, uh... Shoot you in the face hole. Since you're just one big giant head. Headshot shouldn't be hard to get. I have to make sure I aim for the brain, though. Because normally shooting a normal person's face, uh, depending on obviously where you shoot, you have a higher chance of hitting the brain. But when it's a giant creature like that, your chances of hitting the brain are actually slightly lower because you could just shoot him in the jaw. I was hoping to find something else. Apparently that guy really wasn't shitting me when he said, Uh, it's infinite. And you just can't go anywhere. What is this place? Place. It seems to be some kind of dead zone. Why did the contraption bring us here instead of London Town, I wonder? What's your job? I'm guarding the car, damn it. Charles. Yes. Uh, Bullet. Silver. Kill. Nope, they still won't let me murder Charles. Still won't let me murder Charles. Uh, sit. If there's something inside the glove box. Oh. I don't know what to do about it. Don't know what to do. Don't know where I'm going. 
I just know I'm going to sleep. Boop, boop, doop, 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 doop. I don't know whose bed this is, but I'm using it! Oh. And it's still in the middle of the night. Yay! Search. Mm. Search. Well then. I guess I will once again eventually find out what to do. But I shall end this episode here. If you liked what you saw, like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you like. You don't have to if you don't want to. That's up to you. Obviously, I can't make you do anything. Or can I? Anyways, let's end the episode here. Like I just said. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.